What's going on, everyone? And welcome back to an episode of the Always Complete Seahawks podcast. I'm Sam. That is Mike. And before we get into it, just want to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button. We have set the goal of 250 subscribers before the beginning of the season. Mm-hmm. We can get it done. We need your help. 70% of you guys who watch are not subscribed. Think about that. 70%. Mm-hmm. If 70% of the viewers on one of our most recent videos, the Dwayne Eskridge video, if it was 70% of you guys watching who were not subscribed, that means that 112 of you were not subscribed while watching. Subscribe. Please. You can hit that goal, and uh, we appreciate y'all. But we are going to be talking about Bless One. Bless One? Bless? I'm just going to call him Bless. Yeah, I think that's what he goes by, Bless. bless. Cornerback Bless Austin signing with the Seahawks reportedly. Signing we have to Seahawks say team. reportedly so we don't have to delete this video like we did the Trey Flowers one. Reportedly signing with the Seahawks. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's, it has been reported and it has yeah. not been confirmed by anybody. But it's but like it it's like ninety nine percent likely that it happens. I'd say. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. it it it's it's uh, chances are it's locked in the bag. Interestingly enough, today we. The Keller Witherspoon spot by Tyler Mabry off the practice squad, which therefore means that we need to cut somebody, which then obviously creates the question of who do we cut? Um, I don't really know yet. Uh, I mean, maybe, I mean, is there like any position that's too heavily loaded? We still have three quarterbacks, right? True. Jake Luton might be the guy to that's that's definitely a possibility but i mean bless austin this is a bless austin video um started most of the year for the Jets last year i think he started like 15 games at yeah Turner. um i mean really two words here young and long arms hey that's what Pete carroll salivates at the mouth for even you, Trey Brown, you're young, who's a small guy he has long arms Pete carroll if, 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 you, if you have long arms Pete carroll's gonna sign you yeah, I have I have pretty long arms. I'm expecting a message from Pete Carroll. Right. Once you're draft eligible, I'm sure you'll next, be getting an email from. Yeah. In the next yeah. four or five years, you should be getting an email. Yeah, from I Pete mean, Carroll. I'm sure I'm going to be sitting on my couch, you know, not yeah. even playing football, and I'm, I'm going to get a call from Pete. Just I mean, they literally just signed that tight end who plays basketball and has huge long arms. Like, I don't even think the dude's ever played football before. They're just like, hey, <laughs> yeah. you have long arms. Come to You work. should play football. It's like the yeah. high school football coach walking through the hallway. It's just like, hey, you're hey. huge. Have you ever thought about playing football? And it's like, he's like so short. So it's like, hey, you need to come play for my football team. All right. You need to play for me this year. Yeah. All right. The guy's looking down. He's like, all right. Uh, I don't know. I'm more of a basketball player. He's like, no, 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 no. Like, how much do you weigh? And then how, about, the, how, yeah. how tall are you? About no, six foot. How much do you weigh? I'm about 200. All right. We need to get that weight up, buddy. We need to get that weight. Up. Yeah. And then they're like, he starts like pleading. He's like, I'll, I'll make a range with the basketball coach. All right. All right, you're fine. All right. Listen, no. listen. I can get you an off class every day. Off class yeah. every day, one off class. Think about that. Think yeah. About that. No, they're still getting But plus yeah. Austin, I think it's a good signing. Again, we don't know the exact contractual details yet I mean, because it's just reported. It's just depth. It's depth. I don't expect Bless Austin to be, you know, in the contention for the starting quarterback. And no, I don't. I, I think Sidney Jones will definitely start over him. If he is in contention for the starting corner, we got in, some problems. We got some problems. Unless because... he's just like absolutely insane. Yeah, like, like unless like he's like, been like he's training like Deion with like, Sanders in like, been like training our with like Darrell Revis. He's like this is Darrell Revis like trained him when he was with the Jets. And Darrell Revis like this is the guy. This is the yeah yeah. This is the guy. No. no, but if a corner that's not good enough to make the Jets roster is competing for a starting spot for us. I don't really know what to say, you know. It's just kind of – it's not – it's not good. Not it's ideal. Not, not good. Um, but as a piece of depth and as, you know, just have another guy that could be good, maybe, potentially. Has some um, experience. Yeah. You know. So, you know, just kind of as I do with players that I'm not totally familiar with. Again, I knew who Bless Austin was, but I, I don't, you know, have a great idea of how good he is. And, again, I, I hate to be that guy. Oh, he's PFF grader, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to look up his, his PFF yeah. grade was 51 last year. 
Which is, uh, Not as, as, as the Sydney Spanish Jones, viewers say, just, no bueno. No bueno. That's, that's, Sydney Jones was 68, I believe, or like 69. Nice. Uh, wasn't it? It was, it was high. It was fairly high. Um, Did you read it like a 75 or whatever? He had a yeah. pretty high grade. I now, think. This guy, I, I don't think this guy is going to be. Yeah, I'll just look at Sydney Jones really quick. Yeah, Sydney Jones was 68.1. So this guy by PFF standards is 17 points better than um, Austin or bless Austin. I don't know why I said Austin. It it, it, it messed with me because Austin's like a first name, you know what I mean? So I keep calling him Austin yeah. Bless. But yeah, so I, I really don't think this guy's gonna be starting anytime soon. Um no. Just depth. No, nah, he's not gonna be starting. Really hope not. If Pete um, Carroll, but knowing Pete Carroll though, like week one, he'll be like, all right, Marquise Blair, you're gonna be sitting. We really like this uh Bless Austin guy. All right. Uh <laughs> and then they'll just get toasted and then in typical Seahawks corner fashion we'll play like who we play that has a really good energy we'll play like the Packers and he'll just shut down Devontae Adams like yeah you know, the, <laughs> so bless Adams yeah like we'll we'll take on the Saints or something he'll hold Michael Thomas to zero catches right zero yards no targets and some, like no name from like the Lions just goes off for like 150 yeah like, that's like how it's gonna be Jamal Agnew goes yeah, like Jamal. seven <laughs> catches 170 <laughs> yards two touchdowns yeah, on, yeah. Um, just but when we listen, play, yeah. Whenever we play Jared Goof, it's guaranteed that a wide receiver will just randomly pop off. Yeah. Oh yeah. 100%. I don't know who it is. I didn't even. I didn't even think of Jared Goof when I said Lions. I was just thinking of like the shittiest team that we're gonna play, and I just thought of the Lions. Like the Texans, we're just gonna be playing like Kiki Brandon QT Cooks. Yeah, he got cut. Like, I'm pretty sure he got cut. Oh, he got cut. That's a I'm shame. Sure, Brandon Cooks. Yeah. It's a shame that he couldn't torch one of our corners. <laughs> <laughs> you, play, you think like you think like a guy who's like a wide receiver, like the week before they played the Seahawks, gets cut. He was like, no, like you don't understand. I was part of pop off this week they're clearly <laughs> terrible you're making a mistake <laughs> <laughs> like he's, he's like god like, awful he's like guys make a mistake played, you don't we play no, you don't know <laughs> yeah it's just like like we're gonna play like what who's a team with like really bad receivers that are gonna play it's like the texans low key texans i mean no but texans actually like like, like their receiving room isn't awful they have the lions have, are awful the Your lions are in a are really awful. bad receiving room i mean but let's be honest like it, it, it's the never ending with corners. I mean, we're gonna have a corner who's really good, yeah. like the entire year, like like Shaquille Griffin, twenty nineteen, DJ Reed, twenty twenty type stuff. You know, just right. like locking people down. You can trust him. He's he's that guy. Yeah. But then we're just gonna be playing like the freaking Trey Flowers, like a, a god awful team. Like we're gonna be playing. Let's say – let's just, you know, throw out a team. What about Chicago? Stop. Stop. That's where I'm going to stop you right there, Sam. Sam, <laughs> do, I need to, do I need to go grab the Justin Fields jersey to stop you real quick? Oh, I mean, I don't, I don't think it would stop me, but listen, listen, listen. Don't be Are you playing right a goddamn team? Or, or it might be a quarterback that pops off. Andy Dalton's going to throw for 600 yards against Andy Dalton won't be starting by week 16 when they play. Well, when Justin Fields turns listen, out to be a bust. Listen, and, if, and Andy Dalton, Andy Dalton, <laughs> if Andy Dalton is playing on December 26th, I got problems. All right, I don't know about you, but I got a lot of problems going on. Well, I mean, Andy Dalton's going for an MVP season. We all know that. Dude, I, imagine just Andy Dalton is just like – perennial all pro 57 <laughs> touchdowns like yeah. six interceptions they never played they're like do we, do we play justin field and he just, and just 54 of those off. touchdowns will come against the seahawks <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude he's like a bona fide scrub he just has a, like, an amazing like game by him. far the greatest game anyone has ever touched like any dog's throwing a touchdown like every minute he's just like <laughs> One play drive, <laughs> bow, bow. It's like yeah. that one game a couple years ago where Mitch threw like seven, he threw like six touchdowns against the Bucks, and we're like, "Who is this guy? <laughs> like, why?" Yeah, this- like. Who? But listen, I can almost ensure this year that we will be playing the Arizona Cardinals, and Andy Isabella is going to have like 170 yeah. yards. I think he got cut. Did he not? I don't think he did. You might be right. Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else, like Jacksonville, Lavisca Chenault. Oh yeah, guaranteed like seven hundred yards, six touchdowns. We we somehow win on a game winning drive from Russ. Like yeah, no, we always do. Yep. So you know to kind of conclude this bless Austin video depth signing, we're not sure it's with starting yet. potential. He's not great. Uh, if he's starting, 
and in a serious role, we've got big issues. So hope you guys got enjoyed. serious problems. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Always Beat Seahawks podcast. We will see you guys in the next one. Peace, Peace. out.